my gosh, I wish you guys could feel how warm she is. Yep, and he's gonna go, hey, 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 hey. We got the guapo. When we shut this, it'll be dark in there. And they got separate rooms. This, door uh, 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 this lizard, right here. Oh. And so you're in. Ah, no, no. <laughs> We're not fooling around. Look out, he's gonna bite me. <laughs> I can't believe it, people. It's about 85 degrees today, and tonight it's going down into the lower 60s. So we're getting our first cold front of the season here. And uh, thanks for reaching around. Give me a reach around. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Thank you to all our loyal Patreon members out there. This week's shout out goes to Brooke Nichucka. Um, so anyway, we're in here, uh, here's Guapo and Lola, and it's time to kind of put them away. Now, I do have a bit of a situation. Tonight, going down, it's probably gonna get to be about 63. Not lethal for any of these guys, but I want, uh, today was a day of getting things ready, checking everything, and guess what? Got a problem, because my GFI here it keeps tripping, so I needed to call in the heavy artillery, father-in-law, and uh, he's coming over tomorrow, because tomorrow night's gonna be even colder. Luckily for me, these are all insulated. We're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves a couple of lizards. And you can feel, my gosh, I wish you guys could feel how warm she is. So she's she really, really warm. So we're gonna put her up over there. And we're gonna get guap. Because like I said, it's like really hot day. We got the guapo. And we're gonna go ahead and get him. Senior guapo. Yep, and he's gonna go, hey, 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 hey. She doesn't like him in the house. That's so funny. That's why I put him in there. So hopefully he'll go in there. He'll go in. Uh, get out of there. Hold on. She, Let's get him to she, she She's really kind of a jerk, it. yeah. I want her. She's climbing her territory in there. Yeah, she likes it in here. And um, I need to twist. The problem is this. I need to get in there. Yeah. I need to go here. You need to. I need to get him in this there. Thing. This is the problem. This thing needs to be like that. Okay? And then she needs to go in it and stay in there. And that's it. Now when we shut this, don't go over there. He wants to come back out. When we shut this, it'll be dark in there. And they got separate rooms. Visual barriers that's again. It, Visual barriers, they come into play. Right, let's see. Oh no. Right. Those doors. Ah, ah, ah. Jesus. Look, look, that door's good, brother. Ah! I gotta grab him. Meanwhile, I have to shut this door. Shut that door. He's, he's looking for food. Nuts. I'm in sandals. You smell like chicken, too. Yeah. My you toes. You always forget to wash your hands after you. I am so bad. Chicken. Hold it. We need this lizard right here. Oh. <laughs> he is such a jerk. Oh, I got him, all right. He's doing a death roll. Yeah. Look at this guy. He's awesome. Beautiful he lizard. He is but, so strong. Though. But so strong. Such a lunatic. I can't believe you grabbed him. Why? I'm just, this is what has to happen. We got to, uh, good boy. We got to help these guys. Now I got to get her. You got to pretend, you got to pretend. Look, if she goes up on the screen, it's good. Easier to catch? Yeah, easier to catch up on the screen. You go that way. Well, maybe she'll go up this thing and make it a get, get close. She can't hurt you. No, I'm not. I worried. just need to be faster than a lizard. Which I can do. All right, yeah. yeah. Got oh, it. she's going. Yeah, she's it. she's a nutty girl too. Yeah. Oh, that tail is whipping. It's whipping pretty good. Look at that, that's a helicopter. <laughs> she right, can fly up. away. Get right in there. And and it's very um. This she's got sharp part. claws. Yep. yep. And so you're in. <laughs> ah! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> the pain in the neck. Is that door shut? He's <laughs> back. Oh God. All right, look. It's I'm gonna comedy. this. Yeah, you got that. And then what we can do is you can put him in the top. No, we'll put him in the bottom. Oh, oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Gosh, lizards, man. You'll catch him. He's pretty burly. Personally, I love this. He's not pretty... being involved. Yeah. <laughs> this is humorous. Yeah, I'm glad you find it fun. I do. Oh, I'm tired. You gotta love your lizards, man. Even the ones that are jerks to you. Come on! Oh, you're... Oh my god, he is on the move. Oh my god, oh, there's food I forgot to get out of here. Come on, bud, we're not trying to hurt you. Man. Not trying to hurt you. Too. Did I mention I rode about a hundred and... Yeah, I feel like this is karma miles. for dropping me yesterday. All right. <laughs> All right.
Good grief. Sometimes it's better to do this at nighttime because he'll just go back in on his own anyway. Much but, more chill. But we need to do it now. You got this. I got this. I got him out. That's it. I'm not fooling around anymore. We're not fooling around. Look out. He's going to bite me. <laughs> gotcha. All right. Open that door. I'm... Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Let's go. That was a challenge. That was quite the challenge. How are you feeling? Tired. Getting old. No, you did, you did a lot of work. This All right, these guys are good. Now let's go see the rhinos. These guys are great. Argus Monitor's got his thing going. Inky's in her house. I'm going to go ahead and leave them because they go in on their own. They're very good. Um, let's go talk to our monitors. We turned on the um, heaters. Let's just make sure they're working. I'm mostly worried about the monitors and Cyclora. Um, like I said, tonight's not going to be the coldest night of the year, but it is the first night where it's dipping below 65 degrees. So we want to make sure everybody is comfortable and they know that there's heat inside these boxes. The sooner we realize, they realize rather, that there's another source of heat, they'll naturally go towards it. This is the first one of the season too. So. Yeah, she's still out. So I'm just going to check the... We're just going to check and make sure the heater is working because she's good about going in every night. She likes to go into her house. She's, this is the first time, granted I haven't been here in a month, <clears throat> that she's been outside every time. Yeah, she's, come here. she's really done well. You yeah. come on in with me. Shut that door behind you, yeah. please. She's usually Hi, Lulu. in the, in the These are my feet, Lulu. Get ready to run. I don't have sandals on. Oh, I may dear. have to run. Lulu. Are you trying to grab her and put her in? Hell no. I won't grab her without gloves. Yeah, true, I forgot. What I'm checking right now is if the power to the heaters are in. Yep, they feel like they're on here. Do you see any, I mean. Can you feel the other one? Oh, you know what? No, I gotta, I gotta plug some. Well, no, they're, they're plugged. Yeah, the heaters are working. Nice. Very good. She's Bye. very chill. She's being a good girl. Very, very chill. I like it. A little coil in the tail. I like that. Very quiet, lots of shed. Yeah, she's doing so good. All right, let's cruise. So her heater is on. She'll be able to get in. And again, I am, maybe I'm over, just a little bit over uh, cautious, but with what happened to our buddy Slinky a few years ago, almost freezing to death, it's absolutely imperative that I make sure everything's right. We got the extension cords going. Um, we're going to check in and see if Slinky is in his house. No, he's not. He's in the water. But I want to make sure his heater is on. And I'm going to have to come back after uh, the lights go out tonight and just make sure he is in his house. What a good boy. Yeah. Daddy's just checking the house. Yep, heaters are on. Top and bottom. Perfect. All right. And you really want to check during the evening. After after it's the, the sun has gone down is when I really check this because they don't move around after dark. So basically once they're in, they're good. Except we did have that one issue when it was super cold and Slinky came out. Uh, which was my fault because guess what? I didn't check again. I like to double check everything now. So I dislike this time of year because it's a little bit more work for me. Around the clock. Sure everything's around. Now I can see that the male croc monitor is out. I'm not even gonna attempt to grab him right now because I don't wanna stress him out. He has been going inside the uh, shelter and so he's just catching the last rays of sunshine and he'll go in this evening also but i'll come back out here and check so that's what i do for the lizards with the tortoises i'll show you what happens uh if you're new to the channel haven't been following around for many seasons um good thing is the gators don't do anything the smooth front came in on a real real cold night see these guys are going to go in the water the water temperature is going to stay nice and comfy 
because it's been baking for months, so it's not going to lose heat very quickly. Same with Slinky's place. Exactly. So I'm not really worried about the crocs at the moment. If we had a week of really cold uh, temperatures, what I do is I block the smooth fronts into their cave with hay bales, and I just wedge them in there, and they do well. I just throw a heating element in there on the extension cord, and it works out really well. Uh, it's not like I'm going to wrangle up the crocs and uh, like the Cayman and move them. But all the other tortoises have heated shelters. They're going to go inside the shelters. Um, this evening's not going to be that bad for them. Same thing with our Aldabras. Uh, the small ones and the radiateds, I collect them up and I put them into the little house that's under here. But I just wanted to check in over on these guys because how do you move giant tortoises into their homes? What you do is you grab an old broomstick. Learn this from my good buddy, Sam Pascucci. We've got heat lights in there. You can see they're on. It's very toasty in there. It is. I can feel. Isn't it nice? Yep. So they're gonna hopefully walk in on their own. But usually, I may have to coax them by tapping them gently with this stick. It's the tortoise motivation stick. It is exactly. You remember? Yeah. The tortoise motivation. Stick. We're gonna move that. They always move their food bowls all over. Come on, guys. So we'll just kind of draw them closer and let them know the heat is on in here. And again, the best nights are the nights when they do this all on their own. But sometimes what happens is the temperatures drop quickly here. And if they drop too fast, the tortoises hunker down right where they're at. And I can't allow that to happen, so I have to wake them up. And I've been out here in the middle of the night moving a tortoise. If I were out for the day and I didn't get back until after dark, they are, I am able to move them uh, via their own muscles, but I have to just give them a little bit of a, a tap, if you will. But here they come right now. They're being good boys and, and girls. This is because they will just find a place and think They'll that's just, the warmest spot. Exactly. They yeah. just do. They just go to sleep, and uh, we just don't want them to uh, be uh, getting any kind of uh, upper respiratory problems. Or things like this uh, can be very difficult this time of year. So you really would just want to be very cautious. Even if you live up north, and maybe your animals are in the house, uh, you want to make sure that all the heating elements are working because the temperature in the house. Uh, can actually fluctuate uh, when we get to this time of year, so it's important. But my goodness, here they all are. Where is Socrates? Socrates is floating around someplace. So awesome stuff. Um, like I said, a little bit more work, but these animals are worth it, and I'd just like to share with you. And hey, uh, the one good thing is it's going to be a little bit cooler for me, and I'll be able to get a lot of work done in this yard because the temperatures have just been so oppressive. Uh, but my gosh, the tortoises seem to be doing well. Again, another thing is a large tortoise like this can hold on to its core temperature a lot longer than a smaller animal. So um, again, tonight, if this tortoise uh, hunkers down in the, in the uh, underbrush, it's not a big problem. I'm not going to freak out. But once temps go below 55 degrees, that's when it can start to get real dodgy for these animals. So uh, you got to be vigilant during the fall and winter times here in South Florida. Uh, guaranteed by the end of the week, we'll probably be back up into the 90s. Um, so there you have it. It's, it's just crazy. But I love my animals and I hope you guys enjoy these videos. Thanks for joining me uh, as we learn about how to keep these animals happy and healthy. So thanks for being here. I'll talk to you guys again real soon. I have my work cut out for me. In the meantime, why don't you just watch Nostradamus mosey on over? See you guys later.